Every time I eat a creepy crawly, it makes me feel sick. Not because the bug is bad. On the contrary, bugs are good for you. They're full of vitamins, minerals, protein, and fat. It's just, oh, the idea of it. <laughs> it's just horrible. In Europe and North America, we don't like bugs. We don't eat bugs. I mean, look at it. Lunch, bleh. Every day, all over the world, people eat bugs. And in a survival situation, they can save your life. So today, I'm gonna to show you a few techniques for cooking bugs. First up, prepare your ingredients. By that, I mean kill them. It's more humane, and it stops them from potentially killing you. This is a venomous centipede. So off with its head, and off with its nasty little pincers. Into the pot. This scorpion, is also venomous. Look at its tail just stabbing at me. Thank heavens for gloves. So that tail, I'm afraid, has got to come off. Sorry, scorpion. Off with its head into the pot. And a tarantula is also venomous. Yo! Oh, I don't even want to pick him up. Come on then, out you come. Sorry, mister. There's something else that tarantulas have, apart from venom, that's an irritant, is all the hairs all over their body. So the best way to deal with that is to burn it off. Wow, it really smells of burning hair. Now I'm not cooking it now, I'm just removing the fur. Don't want these things sticking in your throat. There we go, bald tarantula, ready to cook. What else do we have in this little pot of horrors? Crickets, come here. Even the barbs on the legs of crickets can get stuck in your throat or in your intestinal tract and cause major problems, not what you want. So I'm afraid we have to rip the legs off. Kill you first because that's the most humane thing to do. And then just rip the legs off and also the wings into the pot. All animals are safer to eat when they're cooked. Heat kills a pathogen and parasites that might be inside them, and bugs are no exception. Even bugs have bugs. This tiny little cricket can be the host for a tapeworm. If you eat this raw, you could be ingesting a tapeworm cyst. It's strange to think that such a tiny animal can produce a gigantic worm in your gut. Disgusting. Cook it. If you have a pot or a canteen cup, the best way by far to cook your creepy crawlers is, is to boil them up in a stew. That way you can hydrate as well by drinking the broth and you don't lose any of the minerals and vitamins because they're all in the water. Here we go. Bug stew into the fire. Now, if you don't have the luxury of a pot, you can always barbecue your critters on a stick or put them on a hot rock or wrap them in a leaf and put them in the embers. Not only can you eat bugs, you can use bugs to make your other food taste better. For example, worms in your vegetable garden makes the sword healthier. I always like to overcook my survival food just in case, but 10 minutes at a boil and they should be okay. Lunch time. What could be more appetizing? The legs don't really taste of anything. Mmm! It's unbelievable. It is just mind over matter. This thing tastes like fish. Now for the centipede. Oh! <laughs> okay, here goes. I can still imagine it biting me in the face, but I know it's dead, it's boiled. Mmm! I don't know what that tastes like. Kind of fishy. Not bad at all. See, with bugs, it is just mind over matter. And to make them taste really good, just stick them in a frying pan with some garlic. 